This is Top Accolade African News Updates. I am Soy Bifa Jackridge. The strike by 50,000 union members began three weeks ago after negotiations over working conditions collapsed. Doctors are not on strike, but union leaders and Slemo Mushave said many health facilities did not employ them. He said most of reported deaths were in the provinces of Inhambane and Sofala. The health ministry has in the past accused Association of United Health Professionals of Mozambique. Absum of exaggeration. We receive information every day about the deaths, said Mushave. The chairperson person of Absom, the worst affected facilities are those staffed only by health workers and not doctors. Nurses, psychologists, drivers and cleaners are among those striking for overtime allowances and better medical equipment. Mochave said the workers were forced to strike because they faced such dire conditions which the government was refusing to confront. There is little to no surgical material, food for patients or patrol for ambulances. Workers haven't received uniforms for years. Something needs to change. Sometimes, in the maternity ward, you will find women sharing beds. It's very dangerous, he said. Health infrastructure is limited across Mozambique, with fewer than three doctors per 100,000 people, one of the lowest doctor-to-population ratios in the world. According to the U.S. Agency for International Development, more than half of Mozambicans walk an hour or more to their nearest health facility, and it's common for medicine to be out of stock or in short supply. A prominent Malian economist and professor has been sentenced to two years in jail, one of which was suspended for his criticism of the military junta. Etienne Fakaba Sisko was also ordered to pay a fine of 3 million CFA francs, that is $4,900 or 3,900 euros. The 41-year-old academic who has been in custody since March was charged with defamation and damaging the state's reputation by distributing fake news. The charges relate to a book he published last year, which he defended in court, saying the work was based on facts. Human rights groups say his is the latest case in a widespread crackdown on critics and political opponents of the military rulers. They came to power in August 2020 when the President Ibrahim Bobakar Keita was overthrown in a coup after a huge anti-government protest over his handling jihadist unrest. Sisoko's lawyer Ibrahim Mahov Sako said he was not surprised by the verdict and would be filing an appeal. The University University of Bamako professor once served as an advisor to the late Mr. Keta and spent several months in jail in 2022. The work that prompted his latest arrest is called propaganda, agitation and harassment, government communication during the transition in Mali. It accuses the junta of using manipulation and even lies to sway public opinion in its favor. Before his arrest, Sisoko also published a post on Facebook calling for elections to be held. The junta has faced criticism for reneging on agreed timelines for transitioning to democratic civilian rule. Elections due to be held in February were again postponed. A court in Greece has abandoned the trial of nine Egyptian men accused of causing the biggest migrant shipwreck in the Mediterranean Sea for a decade. The judges in the southern port city of Kalamata ruled they did not have jurisdictions to hear the case on the grounds the vessel sank in international waters. It is feared more than 600 people drowned last June when an overcrowded fishing boat, the Andrana, sank on its way to Europe from Libya. The accused had faced life in prison if convicted of people smuggling and causing the sinking of the boats. There were chairs among protesters outside the court as the judge's decision to drop the case became clear. The indictment seen showed that the defendants were being prosecuted on evidence that had already been contradicted by at least six survivors who said the Coast Guard had caused their boats to capsize and then pressured them to frame the Egyptians. Human rights groups, including Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch, said they had strong reservations about the integrity of the group investigation and evidence and question whether the defendants would receive a fair trial. The Greek Coast Guard has constantly denied their actions brought about the disaster and the authorities have rejected all claims of wrongdoing or of a cover-up. The allegations are being considered by the Greek naval courts.
Kenya's government has defended the cost of President William Ruto's trip to the U.S. The price of hiring the luxury private jet in which he and his delegation traveled is estimated to be $1.5 million, that is 1.2 million euros, according to Kenya's private KTN TV station. More than 30 people, including a popular comedian, are reported to be accompanying the president who landed in Atlanta, Georgia, on Monday. Mr. Ruto is on a four-day visit at the invitation of his U.S. counterpart, Joe Biden. It is first state to visit by a Kenyan president to the U.S. in two decades and the first by an African leader in 16 years. He is set to hold talks with Mr. Biden on Thursday, focusing on trade and security partnerships, including Kenya's pledge to lead a multinational mission to restore order in Haiti. But some Kenyans have expressed outrage that he chartered an aircraft from the Dubai-owned Royal Jet Company for the trip instead of using his usual presidential plane given his government's austerity measures and the cost of living crisis. It is not clear why the president opted for the private jets, but there have been safety concerns about the usual presidential plane, known as Haram Bay 1, which was brought nearly 30 years ago. The US government denied reports that it had paid for the aircraft used by Mr. Ruto and his delegation. That is the size of top accolade African news updates. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Wednesday.